Welcome back. Dr. Uh, Abdullahi Mohammed Jabi is our guest, as is uh, Chief Modestus Emenzekwe. Umenzekwe. Umenzekwe. Yes. Oh, I, I will oh, fight dear. you. Oh, dear. Apologies, Chief. I will fight you. No, 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 no. no. You, and you will be well with me, you're right. But don't call for any interim, any national something. No, no, no. Well, okay. No. We can quarrel. We can then, quarrel. And then we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Without yes. any interim yes, national yes. anything. <laughs> um. Uh, Reverend Dominic, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Chief Yori. Good morning to your guest. Indeed. Yori, let me let me sound like a broken record for the, for the very fifth or twenty times. Yori, this election has been won and lost. I said before, I will say it again. If there's anybody that should go to court, I will go to court because I don't know if I have local standing. <laughs> I was denied to vote on 18th March. Why? Because I'm an evil man. That's very really painful. I don't know when I'm going to come out of it. But by the way, that's part of, you know, election in Africa, Nigeria. We're seeing that stage where we are flagging, you know, cards. That is over. But you're, how long do we destroy our institution? The last time I checked, yes, yes, it's not a preacher, maybe a Christian preacher or a Muslim preacher. What is going to use to say? That a lion or a tiger don't announce his target. He go after his target and hung on it. Why when did Jesus become a, a preacher to make people to repent? If someone has broke a law, you catch him or you, you interrogate him, you query him. I love what they do to Fanny Kayode. When Fanny was talking about school, they invite him in the office and the man resent and they let him go and warn him. This is what Jesus should do. We can't destroy our institution. I had your guest say that we're in democracy. Democracy powers the rule of law. Democracy is, is power. And when you break the law, you break the law of democracy. Democracy is not when you break the law, the party is back. That's by the way. You're in number three. Interim government is nonsensical. The people that call into government doesn't even know how it works. It is government in power that brings into government. If they don't know, they should go back to history. It was when really IBB, you know, Maradona, Maradona, and Maradona is out of power, that he think about interim power that was illegal. The only person that can bring interim government is Mohammed Buhari and his cabinet. And anybody can cry, anybody can shout, anybody can weep. There's nothing they can do. There are English about that. But DSS should do their work. They shouldn't come and ask to us or do propaganda. They're not progressive agents. They're a secret agent. When they catch you, when, they, when you break a law, they will catch you on a way. They don't announce to you. So that's why, and your peace, for, for peace to reign, there must be healing. The government that coming to Lagos, and I showed you must call a meeting. So we reconcile the pain treated on Ibo in Lagos here. Some people now are in hospital because we are brothers, we are sisters. I keep wanting this thing before 18th March. George was why that can I said, the man that won election, bring everybody in Lagos. I showed you brought Ibo's. I would be surprised if we don't take that man in budget and make him a piece of finance. It's an evil man. I should say he's a unifier. But some people in Lagos here broke that law. We must bring them to book so we don't repeat it again. Indeed. Good morning and God bless you. Thank you very much uh, for calling in, uh, Reverend Dominic. Uh, let me come over to you, Dr. Abdullahi Mohammed uh, Jabi. Uh, we're talking about the ethnic tensions that we witnessed, uh, shocked a lot of people in Lagos because. Here we are, we've been living, we've been cool, you know, all calmed down and all of that until this election uh, read its head and uh, interpretations were taken as to what was going on politically. And um, you know the rest of the story uh, where the, you know, uh, the hosts thought that um, they were being, you know, they, they were going to trample a fast one and all of that. Um, give me your thoughts on, on that. Well, I need to draw attention and take action from the last speaker perspective. Uh, the issue is uh, the candidate that followed up by primary election in various two parties for 2023 came up with his own unique outlook. The very dangerous because uh, it reconnects our old memory of the uh, sentiment along ethnicity and religious life. And you can see the tension that followed as a build up to that election, where some individuals were very busy using their own national ethnicity to project their candidates that fall out of the PDP 
to have been the best candidate to be and to emerge as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to the ballot box. And some other people were saying, oh, let our a free fair playing ground where the best we emerge to Nigerians who vote that will determine what happens. But to start the bigger and the bullying on the social media by particular geopolitical zones in support of their favored candidates. And we saw the damage that it has caused, not only the cycle of Nigerians, even individual personalities. So above all, election has come and gone. Leaders have emerged. We have in the kitty today, uh, elect Senator Ahmed Bola Chinubu, who is going to take charge of governance in Nigeria in the next four years, and is going to prove his worth. Based on the Christian expertise, professionalism, uh, benevolent leadership, and competencies in getting people that matter to the region balance to assist him to transform Nigeria from the slow state we are today. Now, everybody was a contributor to the state of Nigeria today. And the one man is giving the challenge of to see what he can do to make sure that these abnormalities are corrected. So okay, so okay, uh, Dr. Dr. Jabi, uh, Mohammed, Dr. Mohammed Jabi, um, the audio, there's something wrong with the audio. We'll fix that and uh, we'll be able to come back to you. Uh, in the meantime, let me come to studio. And uh, in case you just joined us at this later uh, time, uh, we're looking at the um, preposterous uh, notion, actually, of an interim national government being canvassed by some in Nigeria. Most people are outraged. Uh, Reverend Dominic called in and he was saying that uh, maybe they don't even know how, to, how it works in the sense that it's a government in power that, in, that sort of installs uh, 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 an interim national government. And he was speaking about um, uh, the president has said that he's committed to doing his job, doing his duty and, uh, you know, handing over uh, also, the committee has been raised. All work is going on. Uh, DSS also spoke about that, that they're in support of all the um, bodies that have been raised all towards a successful execution of, uh, of, of, of the handover to the um, winner of the election. And then we have the preposterous notion of some, some misguided, to borrow a word from DSS, misguided. Uh, of course, you said that they misguided themselves. Yes. You, they, there are no, you, you, don't, you don't believe that there are sponsors behind this whole idea? Until, they, until you ask them questions. Before you will know. Before I, I will know. But what as far as I'm concerned, they misguided themselves. Because, that, because yeah. the, the notion is such that, um, how, did they, how, how could anybody come up with that? But here we are, it has come up with, they have been warned. Hopefully yes. they will heed the warning and know that this, nobody, nobody favors this you idea. See, you see, let me say something. Sure. <clears throat> No matter the level of anger or frustration one may have, we should be very, very, very careful in doing anything that will lead to violence and war. A breakdown of law and order. Yes. War is not a tea party. When there is war, they are not talking about your wife. They are not talking about your children. They are not even talking about yourself. This is a very, very, very dangerous situation. Okay, well, and we must do all things possible, everything possible to nip it in the bud. Indeed. I don't, I don't want to de-emphasize. Anything but, violence. I don't want to de-emphasize. Exactly. Anything violence. violence I disassociate break, myself. That violence, breakdown of law and order. Yes. But, but isn't, isn't war going a bit far? I mean, no way. No way. Is no, it, no country, they say, survives two civil wars. These the small things, if not unchecked. If not checked. Yes. If not checked. We snowball into war, and we must not allow that. And that's well. Therefore, that's something to to watch out for. Um, did I hear that, uh, Mr. Davis? Did I get that right, Mr. Davis? Is it Davis or David? I didn't catch that properly. Davis in Alimosho. Good, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for allowing. God will bless you, sir. 
Go ahead, please. Elder David from Ali Hotel. Oh, Elder Davis. Good morning to you, sir. Elder David, sir. Not David. Elder David, sir. Thank you, sir. Elder David. Thank you very much. I don't reflect you. I have been on this platform a very long time. Please correct my name. My name is Elder David. D A V I D Elder David. I thought so. Yes. Okay. Elder David. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. God will bless you. There can never be interim government. When people lose the election, let them go to the normal place, go to court. I was a member of CDP. I'm a founder. When Obama just came in, people went to court. That is correct. But let me tell you one thing. This government is the most the most best of democratic government since 1999. Yes, I can prove it to you. I'll be telling you people on this platform that Tinubu will win this election. And he will rule to 20 at the one by the grace of God. <laughs> Uh, well, in, in four in four year increments. We're talking about four years. Let, 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 let's look at the first four years. Yeah. I was a victim when a pastor was there. That was in, in UPN. When he said to talk, let me talk, let me talk, sir. Let me talk. It's not a history. This, I was a victim. I was I was equally on I was equally on SDT. And the same thing when he said, I really got a messiah. Today, this man has already won this election. Let anybody who says he doesn't believe in that winning of this election, let it go to court. And this is the most fair we have ever seen. When we were there, they captured a those states, on those states, then they said, I should say, you put away of it, and do that affair. But this government never said that. And they allowed free and fair elections. By the grace of Almighty God, God has chosen Aladdin. That God has made people to read this one. And it will be like that. And so it shall be. The God bless to have blessed every Nigeria. So it shall be in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. It's Thank, not the Thank you, Elder David, for calling in. Uh, Dr. Abdullahi Mohammed, um, on, on this uh, particular issue, I think by now it would have been, um, you know, the audio would have been better. We were talking about. Um, this election, as most, well, certainly a lot of people, I was going to say most people, but since some people are in court, but most people have said that this has been the freest and the fairest election, which is not the same as to say that there were no issues that had to be addressed in pockets here and there. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying that that didn't happen. But that that election, in spite of the low turnout, has been a quite free and fair election. Uh, when you, what would you say to that? Uh, this election is one of the best acclaimed election apart from the uh, 1993 election. One of the best in the sense that uh, this election came with a lot of challenges. Uh, this is a ruling government and a ruling party in power who allow cabals within the same cabinet to introduce a people policies that has injured the party and the candidate of the party two weeks to election. If not God intervention, that uh, Senator Balame Chinubu is divine to take over leadership of Nigeria and replicate what he did in Lagos for eight years in terms of human capital achievement, in terms of the mental project, and what have you. Nigeria will have been in one minute. So we must give it to God that God lives in Nigeria and Nigeria is God. This election came up with a lot of surprises, despite the transport ethnicity that was promoted by delegates in various political parties which came with the issue of ethnicity and religion, and the hit up of the Christian demanding for vice president from the APC ruling party, which was not given, because election is about number, and the number will determine who wins the election at the poll. And this is the result we've seen now, that religion is secondary in the affairs of uh, uh, party politics. So this election came up with a lot of surprises. Today, for the first time, Mr. President elect lost election in Lagos State. It's one base state. Isn't it it's a surprise? There are a lot of governors that lost their states to other political parties. Isn't it a surprise? Because the demography shows that the youth have actively shown interest, key interest in political election, and they are ready to change dynamics, which we are seeing today. That is deepening democratic process for the good of all. 
So I give it to National Independent National Electoral Commission under Professor Mahmoud Yaya for leaving to the bidding of the commission in tandem with rule of engagement, in tandem with 2022-23 electoral law. And the result is very, very peaceful. This is the only election that has not pulled up monumental violence as a result of political thuggery and uh, political malpractices. There was no influence of money bats at this election. There was no influence of uh, vote buying at this election. People vote according to their conscience. Maximally, each of the candidates campaign ran it at six states, including LCT, to shop for votes across board. And despite the orchestrated lies against Tinubu, he's sick, he's not well, he can't do it, he was able to stand the storm and came out better. And to a president elect that is going to give us the best in the next four years. So that Nigerians is going to cultivate and attract the interests of Nigerians to himself, change its paradigm shift from the old order okay. to what is going to deliver to Nigerians. All right then. Well, I want to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Abdullahi Mohammed Jabi. Thank you very much for joining our program this morning. Uh, really appreciate you your time. Thank you very much. All right then. Now, uh, back in the studio, uh, Lagos here uh, with Chief uh, Modestus Omenzekwe. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I give you 100% <laughs> now. You know, uh, well, just, I'm sure you also agree with most of what you said that, look, there were issues in the election. Those issues will be addressed. Reverend Dominic phoned in to say some things. Oh, there's a lot of cleaning up to be done after the party. Um, but um, a good election was conducted. Yeah, there's no doubt about There's that. no doubt about there's that. There's no doubt. It has been won and it has been lost. But to those who lost, go to the courts. And that's where they are now. And so we all have to be patient. And uh, the preposterous idea of, a, of an interim national government, uh, we're talking about because you said, why are we talking about this? Well, we're talking about it because we were shocked. We were surprised. We didn't know that things could go that crazy. No. But, but it's not going to be allowed. No, it's not going to be allowed. You see, we're in a learning process. At times, people say America, Britain, or all those people. We are in a learning process. Those people passed this stage. Stage. I now. agree with you. I they passed this stage. Yes. So we have to exercise some patience. Okay. That's a yes. fine. That's a fine place to uh, leave it, uh, Chief. Yes. And I want to thank you also for thank making you. time for us this morning, Chief Modestus Umenzekwe, uh, politician, board member of uh, FHA. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Indeed. God bless you. Thank you very much. So that's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Folarin. Bye-bye for now.